Hey, I'm gonna show you how to master parent pages in InDesign. It's so easy and simple, but it's so helpful with magazines, books, and anything that has headers and footers. So here is some basic structure for a magazine. You can see editor's note, table of content, some sections with articles and details that should appear on each page. Let's open InDesign. Go to Window, Pages. And we can see basic templates here. First is none, it's a blank page. I use it quite often when I need to create an advertising page inside an article to reset the other parents from this page. And the second one is a parent. And this will be our first parent template. To be sure that you are not on these document pages, you can see this blue highlight here. Or in the bottom left corner, you can see the current page number. And to edit a parent, just double click on it. So I want these details on each page of my document. I create the page number on the left and copy it to the right. And I want the magazine number here. And on the right page, month and the year and maybe some design elements, but I don't have them. So, now I create a new parent for editor's note. I can just right click inside pages panel or go into this menu and click new parent. I change the name and I choose a parent as the base parent right here. Click OK and I create the editor's note header right here. You can see the letter A here. Now, if I change anything on A parent, let's see, I put some icon here. It will be applied to the B parent too. Next, I create the table of contents. I want it to look like editor's note, so right click on B parent and choose duplicate parent spread B editor's note. Then right click on this new C parent and choose Parent options for C parent. Here I can change the name and you can see that it's also based on A parent. Click OK and change the header to table of contents. Next is the section one. Right click inside the pages panel, new parent. I change the name and for based on parent I choose A parent and click OK. Now I create the header for this page. And now I can duplicate it for section two. Right click to change the name, section two, click OK, and don't forget to change the header. So next is subsection. And for the first subsection, I create a new parent. Right click, new parent, subsection one. And now I choose based on parent, section two, because you can see, these two subsections, they inside these sections too. Click OK, and now I need to create the header. And I want to move this icon like this. And you can see now that you can create parent pages based on each other. And for the new magazine issue, I'll change the number just in one place and the month and it will apply everywhere. Subsection 1, Section 2, Section 1, Table of Content. It's really the time saver. I still have the Subsection 2 and Section 3 here. Let's create them. For Subsection 2, I just need to duplicate Subsection 1 and change the header and change the name. And for Section 3, I'll duplicate Section 2, change the header and change the name. And I want all parent templates to be in the right order. For that, right click and allow document pages to shuffle, all the same in the menu. And now I just hold them and move. And subsection two. To apply parent pages to pages in your document, you can just drag and drop them or right click and apply parent to pages. You can choose all pages or just from 4 to 7.
I don't have more pages here. And that's it. I hope you find this video helpful. Don't forget to hit subscribe, ask any questions in the comments and I'll see you next time.